Today's topic is an ambiguous cylinders. Um, ambiguous cylinders are cylindrical object whose section has ambiguous in the sense that if we see it from one direction it has one shape, but if we see it from another special direction we have second meaningful shape. We already see the circular rectangles that is a special example of ambiguous cylinders. Here we have an example. When we see it directly, the section of the cylinder looks like a five petal flower, but in the mirror it looks like a butterfly. In this case, the two quite different appearances are given from the same cylinder. The actual shape of this cylinder is the following. The top curve is not flat. It has undulations up and down, but when we see it from this angle, our brains feel that we are looking at a planar shape obtained by cutting the cylinder by a plane perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder. Let me show the general theory. Suppose that we give two goal shapes in a horizontal plane and we fix two view directions represented by the blue arrow and the red arrow. When we see the <coughs> one shape from a blue arrow, Mm, there are infinitely many different 3D shapes whose projection coincide with that picture. And among them, we select one which has the other goal shape when we see it from the second view angle. Then we get uh, some structure which is uh, mm, space frame curve. It's not flat, but once we get that flame, we translate it vertically and adopt the swept surface. Then we get a cylindrical shape, cylindrical object. That is what we want to obtain. And because we translate the flame work, wire flame vertically, the height of the cylinder is the same wherever we measure it. So the next question is, what kind of pair of shapes we give? Um, the ambiguous cylinder can be constructed. The condition is that the two silhouettes should have a one-to-one -one correspondence between points in the vertical directions. Um, from one direction, we want to get the first goal shape, and from the other, directions, we want to get the second shape. And so the view direction is from below and from above. And so the vertical correspondence is necessary. For this pair of shapes, uh, we have the same widths and uh, there is a cut in the shape, but the depth of the cut is the same. And so the butterfly silhouette and flower silhouette has a vertical one-to-one uh, -one correspondence. Uh, we can decompose the silhouette into blue, green, and red part, and the same color part of the curves have a one-to-one -one correspondence. So once we get this kind of correspondence, for each pair of points, we consider a line, straight line, passing through that point parallel to the view directions, and we construct the point of intersection with the corresponding two lines, and we connect them. Then we get the wireframe structure. So the condition is that we have to 
established one-to-one -one correspondence between two shapes in a vertically aligned manner. Let me show various examples. Here we have four hearts which are changed to the four card suits. In this case, also the we feel that we are looking at the planar curve, but it's not planar, it's a space curve. We can see that the height of the cylinder is the same. Now the heart is changed to heart in the mirror, but this is not the normal heart shape because the normal heart should be in the mirror, the upside down shape, but it is just translated, so it's not a normal mirror image. This heart also is a special shape composed by the ambiguous cylinder method. We can shorten the height of the cylinders and here we have a very short cylinder, but it's still a cylinder in the same structure. And so the top curve is a space curve instead of a flat. So we have similar ambiguous cylinder. We can make the cylinder more shorter. Very short. And next we fill inside by the smooth curve, but the principle is the same. It's a very, very short, ambiguous cylinder. So the heart shape can be changed to various different kinds of other shapes, as shown here. But the way of construction is the same. We can see the silhouette curve is not flat, it's a space curve. The next example is also a very thin uh, cylinders. The butterfly is changed to flower. In this case, the flower is a six petal flower. And the next, the same butterfly shape is changed to four petal flower. And the next one is the butterfly is changed to the five petal flower. In this case, the same butterfly shape can be changed to various different kinds of flowers, but we can see that uh, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the boundaries of the <coughs> curves in the vertical directions. The actual shape are different from each other. The next example is an abstract geometric structure, triangles and circles. Let me show in this posture. Uh, six circles are changed to six. Mm, triangles, but the uh, place and the postures are different. The direct view is also the six circles in the same way, but uh, change to very different placement of triangles. But you can see that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence in the vertical direction between the two shapes. 
the actual shape of this object can be seen from this direction. Here also we have circles uh, changed to triangles. But the same circles uh, change to different placement of triangles. This is actual shape. But the only condition which is necessary is the one-to-one -one correspondence in the vertical directions between the two silhouettes. And <clears throat> until now, we consider the virtual horizontal plane and give two shapes. But we change the horizontal plane to different planes. And in this case, we <clears throat> uh, give heart shape and the spade shape in the plane which is not horizontal in some different uh, orientations and combine them uh, in this form. The heart change to tires, heart change to clubs. We can do this kind of um, applications of the ambiguous cylinder object. In the next example, Here we perceive a man, but from this direction it looks like a woman. Man changes to a woman. This is an example, the ambiguous cylinders. Also, it's very thin. Uh, we design this object in the way we place the two silhouettes in the horizontal plane and because there is a one-to-one -one correspondence on, on the boundaries we can construct the object. The two silhouettes have the same depth cut between legs and so we can establish the one-to-one -one correspondence in a vertical way. This is what I want to mean the ear near and the water bird. From these pair of from this pair of shapes we constructed the ambiguous cylinder. So we showed the ambiguous cylinders and the condition um, under which we can construct an ambiguous cylinders. Finally, let me give a quiz. This is an example of ambiguous cylinders. Circles are changed to triangles in the mirror. We place this object horizontally, but if we lift up the further side like that, and make it in the vertical position. What is the appearance of the direct view and mirror image? That is a quiz. Thank you very much.